Okay, I just wanted to take a second and thank everyone who watched my p 4 a video. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to put into it, but I did have a lot of heart to put into it, and that's what I did. Um, I'm excited to do another one next year, perhaps with a single charity instead of several, but I realized when I was looking through them that I wasn't the only person to do that, so that's really awesome. Um, you might have noticed that my setting changed a little bit. I am back home with my parents for a few months uh, while I student teach, so that's fun and interesting. Um, also, I don't know how many of you guys watch Rosianna's videos, um, but I do, and she's doing this really cool thing where it's try something new every day for January, or for 31 days or something. Um, it's through Channel 2 in BBC, I think. Um, I don't know, I signed up for it, and I've been doing it, and one of the days was to say yes to everything, um, which normally I do say yes to most things just because it's more fun that way, um, but it was kind of, I don't, it was a weird day because all that I was asked to do was chores, and it kind of sucked because I don't know, there was nothing good that came from it, like, it just was, oh, vac will, will you vacuum, will you pick up dog poop, will you do this, will you do that, and it was just like, I don't know, it was a little upsetting because I would hope that I mean more to the people around me than just a vehicle for getting chores done, um, but that's kind of all it seemed like that day. And then I kind of started to think, what would I do if I knew somebody could only say yes? And, I don't know, it, it was interesting, I mean, I think it, my parents didn't know that I was doing this, but I think it, when you know that someone's gonna say yes, it's easier to become more self-involved. And having that thought, the thought that if I knew that one of my friends could only say yes to the things that I would ask him, um, and that what I would ask them, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible things. It'd be like, would you go to a movie with me? Would you hang out with me? Like, because I'm kind of lonely because I'm all by myself, um, and I would really like to hang out with some of my friends, but they're not here or they're super busy. And I think knowing that they would say yes takes a lot of pressure off of yourself, but I think it also makes you really focus on what you want and not what other people want. And I just kind of had to throw that thought out there. Um, also, the weather in Montana is being really weird and I don't like it. It makes me really nervous because it makes me like get really freaked out about global warming because Montana normally snows quite a bit during the winter and we haven't had hardly any snow. like. It's just dead grass out there, and it really makes me uncomfortable. Even though I don't really like snow to begin with, it makes me feel weird that there isn't any. Um, so just another thought I had. Uh, but I think that's all for now. Um, and hopefully I will be doing these slightly more regularly. That was one of my New Year's resolutions, so we'll see how that goes. But um, I'll just keep you guys updated on what's going on in my life, which really is not that much right now, but we'll see. Okay, I'll talk to you later. So today is a very important day. Today, this, right there, turned into this. <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm so excited. And look, it's purple. I looked, but I couldn't really find any hankler fishes. I didn't check everywhere. But I was with my dad, and he doesn't really get it, so I couldn't be like, oh, this store doesn't have any. Can we go to another store to check and see if there's a different signature? I tried explaining it to him, but he didn't really understand. So that was very exciting.